Happy New Year and welcome to 2020. The new year is a great time to think about your achievement in the past and also to look forward to the future and think about what you can do even better. I'm Vera Chen from PhD Coffee Time. I hope this is a video that you can take with a coffee or a relaxing warm beverage of your choice. Come join me for this little chat of learning about PhD processes. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to apply SMART goal to improve your research productivity. For those who don't know what is SMART goal, I would like to break it down for you. Let's talk about the first letter of SMART, specific. We want to be specific with our action. What are we going to do? with specifically to our goal. Some may say, I like to read more, I like to write more, I like to clean my home, I would like to increase my productivity and decrease distraction. Those are good stats. They are action words that you can totally visualize what you do and you can imagine what you, what you can accomplish. But it's important to go with the next letter M, measurable. You will add a verb next to some numbers that you think you can achieve. Like, I like to read two scientific papers every day. That's a measurable goal. And I like to write 500 words per day. That's also a measurable goal. For those who are going to find a job, some goals can be like, I'd like to send 20 invitations for a coffee with someone who already has a job and learn from these people. And of course, among the 20, you may have rejection and that's something you cannot control. But what you can control is how many invites you send out and do it with a manageable step. And for those who have a lot of lab work and feel a little exhausted from being in the lab for a long time, you can switch your day to become earlier and that will make you have more happiness and to gain more time in the day and without having to go home very late and feel exhausted. I would like to sleep at night by 10.30 every night so that I can wake up at five in the morning and go to work at six. That also brings on to the next point attainable and it's like going to the gym when you're lifting your bicep weight is 10 pounds and your goal should be at least 15 or 12 pounds for your next year so that your muscle is working hard and you are gaining new power you see what i mean so let me share that um, when i first started running i was not able to run at all i have promised myself to go out running for 15 minutes. For people who run a marathon, they will be laughing at this goal. But for me, as a person who has spent most of my life sitting in front of a TV, it was a big first step. And I, my, I was sweating. I lived in Hong Kong and it was really warm in the, in, the, in the nighttime even. So I went out and I just set my timer. I started running. I wasn't even running fast, but the point is I keep myself moving for 15 minutes and I keep up to my schedule for twice a week and I increase it gradually to 30 minutes each time and three times a week. So at the end, in about two years or maybe three years, I, I joined a 10K marathon, 10, 10K um, activity in Hong Kong and it was a lot of fun and I wouldn't see myself doing that if I didn't start my first 15 minutes. A lot of people think about attainable as how much um, quantity you can do, uh, whether you can achieve it, like how many minutes you can write in a day and make sure that is achievable. That's fine. I think that's a, uh, that's a first step. But what I would like to highlight in, the, in terms of attainable um, goal is also about whether this fits in your calendar. Can you fit that goal in somewhere of your day? That's 
Another important part of being attainable for your goal is to find some accountability partner. I think I changed the A just now. It's not attainable, but accountable. But it's the same. If you have a goal and you just keep it in your closet and you never share with anyone, chances are you will forget about it and, and that's it. You will think about it, your goal next year and wonder why you didn't do it. So the tip for A, I, I made this up, but you must find an accountability partner. That's an important aspect of making sure it's achievable. So I will ask a friend's advice, a close friend. Your goal is to write 500 words a day. You just need to find someone who can understand word count. Doesn't have to be your advisor, doesn't have to be your colleagues that you don't feel comfortable with. You ask your sister or your brother, hey, ask me every day that I will send you a document with 500 words and 500 word plus every day. As long as that someone is remembering to ask you this question, you, you'll be keeping accountability of doing your goal and achieving it. The same for reading a paper, you know, hey, ask me after a day um, to send you a PDF file with highlights on it and comments of my reading. The R in smart goal is relevant. And in this context, we are talking about research. So when you set a goal, you have to ask this question, is this goal relevant to what I want to achieve in my PhD? So setting a goal that is compatible to your overall goal, relevant, to rather be relevant to your research. Writing paper every day, writing and reading every day is a very good goal for research. Um, and improving skills, maybe looking up technical videos and about your research topic and, and read and watch them. And the T, the last point of SMART, time sensitive. You have to get an urgency to do it. By January, I need to, um, I need to be doing most of my days, 500 words a day. We have covered the SMART goal, what the abbreviation means. That's only half of what you need to do as a goal setter. You are your own leader. You are, the, you are the CEO of all of this. You lead yourself to the next great thing. But you must be totally comprehending all your vision and mission. Why are you here? What, what do you want to do and what do you do best? So I, I like to play some meditation music for you. So this is your turn to think of What's the best smart goal that will push your 2020 forward?
thank you, thank you. You have spent quality five minutes of your day to make sure you start your new year after the crazy holiday is finished. You are starting your, your new year with a fresh page. And I invite you to come back to this video as many times as you need to, to redefine your goals and redefine your research project and break it down into small bite size so you won't be biting off too much that you can't chew. It's very easy to feel overwhelmed and I'm here to make you think of a more manageable side of research. And it's good to take a coffee with your colleague, by the way. For those who are working in labs, it's actually a culture that in Europe people take coffee break at 10 o'clock, 10.30 to just socially catch up with the colleagues, like what they do in the weekend. It's not even a project uh, goal sharing. It's a social ritual that you, you stay connected as a community. And somehow being scientists, we've forgotten about the importance of catching up. That's also why I make this idea of sharing ideas on YouTube over a virtual coffee. So if you having a break, join me for these virtual warm drinks, whatever of your choice, chocolate, coffee, tea, hot water, if you're Asian like me. And don't forget to put in the comment section, what are your three smart goals of the year? One on writing, one on technical skills, and the other on your personal health and well-being.